on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos you have watched my that tutorial a tutorial in which i talk about rheological classification of fluid right if you extend that tutorial then we got two other types of fluids one is thixotropic and another one is rheopactic why i'm sharing the difference between both the fluids because most of the time when we see inside questions from these properties of fluid chapter then we we'll see questions from these two topics it may be examples maybe two marks maybe one more question all right so thixotropic and rheopactic fluid both are really important for us let's share with let me share with you the examples because examples really help you to understand about it right so example of thixotropic fluid is tomato tomato ketchup k e t c h u p all right so now come to the thick uh, rheopactic fluid rheopactic fluid rheopactic fluid the example is printer ink one important thing i haven't shared with you in the uh, in the last tutorial that is about bingham bingham plastic fluid example of bingham plastic fluid which i will share with you when i will share with you types of fluids general types of fluids there i will share with example which is really important and maybe if you are living in metro cities you have eaten such type of fluid but you don't know that that is that, that is an example of bingham plastic fluid all right so let's talk about here only thixotropic and rheopactic if you will see the definition of thixotropic then here we go definition is viscosity of such fluid decreases as stress over time increases i we got it right viscosity decreases when stress is increasing with time right now here viscosity of such fluid increases as stress over time increases that means both are having opposite function now we got two differences between thixotropic and rheopactic now most important difference is here what is that the diagram which will help you to understand about it right graph you may see also right yes we are just drawing a graph one side we are having viscosity another side we are having stress okay application or you can say stress uh, application over time you can say that right now whenever viscosity is decreasing with application of stress over time whenever viscosity is increasing with application of stress over time when increasing in case of rheopactic the viscosity will be increases in case of thixotropic viscosity will be decreases which i have already shared with you in the definition we can see in the graph so this is what i wanted to show you that's why you can understand about it okay i hope you understand about this tutorial uh thanks for watching thank you very much and if you find out something good in this tutorial don't forget to share with you with your friends on whatsapp facebook that's why they will also understand the deep concept about these type of fluid most of the time when we study in engineering college we do not study about this type of fluids even i did not i come to know when one of my student asked me about this question all right so thanks for watching thank you very much and hope to see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye